friends welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing fantastic i am so excited for this video when i have some downtime and i just want to watch some youtube videos i'm usually searching house renovation projects slash room makeovers and thrift flips and today's video is a fun thrift flip i am pretty much obsessed with interior design and trying to create more expensive looks on a budget and i think that is what i was able to accomplish today so i have a few projects to share with you i've been working on these projects here and there for the past few months and I'm finally compiling everything into one video. If you've been here for a while you know that we are in the process of renovating a rather large home and for me to go out and buy everything brand new is just not feasible. So I love going to the thrift stores and see something that's similar to what I might find on like CB2 or Crate and Barrel or even the Studio McGee line at Target. I really like that line. Once you start buying all these things brand new it really does add up. Before we jump into it if you're not yet subscribed please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button and if we are not Instagram friends I would love for you to follow me along over there. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So for this first project, I picked up this what I believe to be plant stand for $2.49 and although the green is very bold, I knew it could look really modern with a simple coat of spray paint. So that's what I did initially. I sprayed it with a coat of white spray paint and that in and of itself really transformed this piece, but I wanted to take it a step further. So I've actually never used this Rust-Oleum stone spray paint, but I have been wanting to for a while, so I thought this would be the perfect project to give it a try. It is a little bit more expensive than regular spray paint. It was about $10 from Home Depot, but a little bit went a long way. This is a very light coat, and look at that awesome texture. Wow, I am thoroughly impressed. I am obsessed with the final results. I cannot believe I picked this up for $2.49. It really does look like something I would see on CB2's website for $80 or $90. So like many people, I've been obsessed with these textured vases that you're seeing online in CB2, McGee & Co. They're just everywhere, and I have been hearing about this baking soda paint technique, and I wanted to give it a try. I had picked up this pink vase from the thrift store a while back, and in one of my other videos, you guys had seen me spray paint it a solid color, and so that's what I'm starting with here is a spray painted vase. And I am just mixing baking soda with paint until I have a desired textured consistency. There really was no rhyme or reason to this. After I had it mixed, I just started dabbing it. This is another one I worked on the same day. This is what it looked like after one coat. The final result really was amazing. So if you are one of the few who have not tried this technique and you love the look of a textured base, I 100% recommend trying this process. And for my last thrift flip, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these chairs, but I got two of them for $4 each. So $8 for two chairs. We've been needing some patio furniture and these were perfect. So I knew I wanted to recover these cushions and I went to Hobby Lobby, I picked up this material for $10. Now I will be honest, it wasn't my favorite material to work with just because it was rather stiff. So I might end up redoing this cushion further down the road, but for now it works. And this is my mom helping me because she's done this more than I have and it's awesome to have her in my corner for all these projects. So we recovered the cushions, just a plain black all weather material and that in and of itself was a crazy transformation. Today is the day we are finally going to be painting these chairs. I've decided to use two different colors, both Rust-Oleum. This one, smoky beige, is going to be on the wicker portion. And this one, black, is going to be the all-over chair color. The cushions have been recovered black, so I think the black frame will really help tie in the cushions. And then this will be a nice accent on the wicker portion. I originally wanted to salvage the wicker, but it just wasn't going to work out very well. So I'm not changing my mind again. We're going to do it, and if we don't like it, 
let's just spray paint and we can try again. But hopefully we like it. Ironically, it looks like the color I just sprayed might have been the original chair color that was here when we first bought the chair. So, if anybody was interested in the original look, smoky beige, that's what you go with. Also, this one, when I was power washing it, it was not the gentlest on this chair. So, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to maybe cut some of these loose ends off because, yeah, I should not have power washed it like I did because the chair was fragile. But. I still think we're going to be able to salvage them and make them look new and fresh. apologize for the weed eater in the background but originally I was gonna tape all this off and do this rim black and just the wicker part the smoky beige but then I'm like that's gonna be so much work why not just take it all off and do all of this the same color I'm gonna paint all of this smoky beige and then the rest of the face will be black with the black cushions and I think it's gonna look really nice And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope that this video helped to show you that you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on all new home decor, that there really are some treasures at the thrift store. It might just take a little bit of digging, but with very minimal work, you can really transform items. And I just love these types of videos. I literally get on this platform and search these videos all the time. So if you guys have any favorite YouTubers that you love that do really awesome thrift flips, I will put a few of my favorites here on the screen that I love watching, just because I think it's fun to share the love here on YouTube. So let me know some of your favorite DIY slash thrift flippers in the comments below. I hope this encourages you to get out to your local thrift stores and see what you can find. Let me know in the comments below if you have found anything that you're loving from the thrift store lately or if you are working on any thrift flips. And as always, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye.